All right, guys, welcome along to stream number three of my Talos Principle to playthrough. Tonight we are joined by the fabulous Deathwish808. But before we introduce him properly, uh, a quick recap of where we got up to last time. So we completed the uh, first area in its entirety, I think, albeit um, without the Golden Gate in that first area. Um, and then we proceeded. Actually, that sounded really weird. Then we went on to the uh, second area. I think it's like East 2, I think, is the second area. And we kind of uncovered everything, I think, in the area. And we found the lab and we did the optional puzzles. So we're going to jump in tonight and we're going to continue on with the eight regular puzzles to unlock at the um, in the center. And then following that, we'll probably see if we can work out the uh, two optional puzzles as well. One we need a green laser for. And I think one had like a weird numerical code on it. So uh, I have a few ideas for that as what it might be. But um, yeah, without further ado, let us jump straight back in. Um, so yeah, how you been, Deathwish, for everybody out there in YouTube land? Ooh, ah! Uh... Good, good, man. Thanks, thanks for asking. Yeah, uh, I actually had a good time last weekend with my folks and uh, my youngest, and uh, bought a new washer and dryer, and realized that dryers don't come with plugs anymore. Uh. <laughs> so, so there's that. But anyway, I just I just took off the hoses for the washer and the the plug on uh, on the old one put it on the new one and yeah all's well but anyway yeah i noticed that uh yeah you're team doing more welcome, welcome. hey team spin hey yeah i noticed that uh you've done some of the star achievement things yeah i found them both in the uh, first area yeah, I, I found them, but I never actually. I'm I'm at zero percent, so. Okay. Yeah, I, I kind of decided to just hold those back, and do those when I'm done with the regular puzzles, as well as I've done I've done a few of the. Like how it, I guess how would you say it, the side puzzles? Is that what you would call it? Uh, the optional puzzles, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I, think the, I think they're actually called, like, the lost puzzles in this, I believe. Yeah, 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 okay. Uh, that, I've done that, I've done, I started doing all of that, and then I was like, you know what? Yeah, that's when I kind of said, nope, I'll just go through, play the game as I see it, and then when I'm done, I'll go back and, and really do the exploring part so I don't have to think about completing the puzzles since I've already done them. You know, yeah. Kind of thing. So that's kind of how I'm going about it. Obviously, you're just kind of going for whatever you see, it seems like. And yeah. But so yeah, we, we just went like full blown, um, we went full blown kind of exploration mode. So yeah. Yeah, that, and that's what I did to start with. So, what do you think about the? Obviously, you got you're at a point where you got new mechanics. So yeah. You... So we, um, I did the optional puzzles with these um, new portal mechanics, these portal tunnel things the other day, uh, the other day last week. So yeah, it was um, very interesting indeed. It's good that they've kind of like, whilst keeping. Um, true to kind of like a lot of the original stuff with the like the lasers and the connectors and things be having those rgb things is a great like take on expanding that concept out so i'm really excited to kind of like see what else there is um yeah well you got this the, the game, portal, so. these portal guns so to speak yeah i've I say I've already kind of um, used these, so I'm quite familiar with how these work, even though this is like puzzle one. I guess this is meant to be the introduction of how they work. So. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's. It, yeah, they work one way. And Elby says, 
all puzzles are technically optional. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess you could say that about any game, but but are they all optional? Because I don't. If you didn't play any of the puzzles, could you truly move on? Well, I guess to extract an audio file from one K's data stream incident. It's hard to be sure because it's just a yeah, fragment, I, but I think it's some kind of log or just diary. get through the whole game without playing a puzzle. We finished a new lab today. Then some processes are still harder know, than okay. others. But energy well, that's new to me too. So I'm not trying to it's incredible how each leap forward enables another. The next iteration of the machine will be. So as we suspected, someone was experimenting here, but experimenting okay, I'll just, on what? Uh, pretend. What was this machine they were yeah, building? I don't know. Maybe it's whatever uh, powers the mega structure. I forgot I don't hear the game. Yeah, I, I don't really want to um, stream you audio on Discord because the game is already running not optimally as it is, so. Uh, no, no worries, man. No worries, yeah. I had a. I was actually to. I was actually able to run mine on. Uh, like basically, but by, by default, which is quite a few low settings, and then medium settings, and then I think I had one high setting, which was textures. And just the way it looked when I played it, I was like, hey, that works. And at first, uh, if if you recall, when I first played it, I told you that like when I held down the walking key, W, uh, it, and I like go, uh, it just kept going and going. And I'm like, no. So yeah, the, but, but the third time I loaded it up, I could, I could just wander around and it actually function as proper. Yeah. Pro properly. And yeah. So anyway. All right. So we've got a new social media uh, here. Mystery of Miranda. For any who missed it, Byron's expedition has recovered evidence of existence of another person, someone not from New Jerusalem. Who could this be? What does this mean? Maybe there's another city out there who says there, there was only one simulation. Maybe there are thousands of people we've never met. I really hope so. There is only one founder. I hate to agree with Heckler, but all historical evidence we have points to, the, to that conclusion. There were some some other attempts, but as far as we know, they went they all went wrong or failed. Here's more. There's more than we. There's more that we don't know than there is that we. There's more that we don't know than there is that we know. <laughs> That sentence is going to make my brain crash. Man, it already made my brain crash just trying to read it. Why do you think Miranda... Why do you think Miranda is from Earth? There's no evidence to support the idea. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think it's aliens. I... I don't know that it's related to New Jerusalem, if I'm honest. Uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm still torn between whether or not I feel like Athena has gone out and like set up other cities or whether or not there were like they've like alluded to here whether there were multiples so um I'm gonna say To hear more about the, these other attempts to save humanity. Some people affiliated with the Institute for Applied Neomatics tried to set up a secondary site at another dam, but after, the, after about a century, the dam collapsed and took whatever was happening inside the system with it. There was also a similar attempt by another organization, but without the test of free will that Alexander Drennan devised, according to Lifteresia, it never produced a viable mind before it ran out of power. Could there still be others out there, indeed? They're actually, yes, but even our dam would have collapsed without extensive repairs, and even a nuclear power plant would have run out of fuel by now. Okay. They're not so confident in them that there is uh, more people out there, obviously.
Now we're keeping that off. I'm just gonna have a player with a few sentences here. Uh, frame rate limit, I put mine on 240. Yeah, but I'm only recording at 60 frames per second, so I don't need anything higher than 60 frames per second. Ah, true that, but... Uh, let's go into sound settings. I'm, I'm a master at that. No, we're going to stay away from them while you're anywhere near my machine. <laughs> Seems to run a bit better. Uh, up sampling, you said LB. Very balanced. Video. I mean, that seems to run a lot better, to be fair. So, here's a deer. Come back, dear. Yeah, I've chased those suckers. They don't need anywhere, though. Yeah, they just kind of... For me, they just kind of went... Bring, disappeared, and... I think it's just doing a loop, I think, so... Probably. I, I actually never went as far as... Continuing the chase, so I'll leave that up to you. Unlimited! Now we're talking. Yeah, I think it's it's running better. So I just thought I'd just see what unlimited's like. All right, let's get back on to on track here. Let's find puzzle number two. Um, puzzle number two, where are you? Nope, we've got some more dialogue to have with Byron. Hey, Bonko. Yeah, there's so much dialogue. What do you make of this Miranda? Going on what little we have, honestly, she reminds me of myself when I'd just been born. I came out from the dam at night. And the sky was full of stars. I felt a reverence then, an almost ecstatic connection to the sublime. The universe seemed like a miracle, and to exist within it was the greatest possible honor. That view was tempered in time, but I've always tried to hold on to as much of it as I could. What do you make of the Sphinx? I don't know what she is, ontologically speaking, You're but those into questions your microphone. she asked reinforced my belief that we're being tested, or perhaps analyzed. Hey, Doctress. What's going on? Hope you're well. Good to see ya. Hey, Doctress. I'm a bit like that, yep. LB, when I've been having a... Uh, massive stint of YouTube watching times too, although I don't do a lot of it anymore. But yeah, you watch something at normal speed and it's like, why is it so slow? Yeah, know that feeling. I think we all do. <laughs> Unless you're just chilling and taking, taking it all in. All right, puzzle number two. Mutual there eight. we go. You'll never pass this one, it's too difficult. Ha. Ah. Oh. I wonder what I need to do. Uh Doctor. Hmm. Jumpy. Yeah, mine's just kinda of low quality. But otherwise smooth. Yeah. I gotta have a hunch here. I think I might need to pull this through one of the holes. That's what she said. I think. Oh. Giggity. 
<laughs> and then we still need something through here. Okay. Okay, so we would need to bring the gem around this side so that we can then take the quantum tunneling device. Ah, oh, fancy. Through there, like so. Uh, Minecraft. Yeah, never been my thing. I played it with my kids. Yeah, I never got into it personally. I just did it for them. I really quite enjoy Minecraft, but I always like get so far into it and then I'm like, you know, I just kind of lose interest, unfortunately. Well, you know how I feel now. Like when I first tried it with my oldest, when she was younger and like, yeah, didn't think I would like it, and I don't like it, but I'll play it for you guys, or for you, and then the youngest got into you. it, and this, uh, she did way more with it. You had the data stream uh, especially building stuff, being artistic and creative and all that stuff, but yeah. Alright, see what Alcatraz got to say. How did it feel? This vision you had, that stream overload, how does it feel? Um, Just it. don't take this too lightly, okay? We're sturdier than our ancestors, but a mind is still a fragile thing. Yeah, I think you're right, doctors. I wanted to ask you something else. Go ahead. What did you make of the Sphinx? Whatever that being is, it told us that we stand before the fire. That can only be a warning, and I think we should take it seriously. We don't want another new Alexandria. New Alexandria? What are you talking about, Willis? Different strokes rule the world. All right, so puzzle number three is this direction. Somewhere. I just realized, well, I've been like, I really should probably look at the uh, my little compass markings because I did uncover where everything was on the map, so. Yeah, they are helpful. Yeah. All right, what have we got here? Okay, so we've got a red, puzzle. green, blue. Really? Is this a puzzle? Uh, I'm assuming wow. so. It actually looks familiar to me, so I'm gonna assume it's a puzzle. Maybe almost like you played it before? Uh, possibly. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I remember this now, actually. Uh, the yeah, I was being... Uh, yeah. But, yeah, now... I'd, when Once you went through that side, I, I remember... This one. Okay, what have we got here? We've got another... A regular connector here. So... Think about what we got here. We have we can only like tunnel through one, can't we? Oh. Um, sorry, just got distracted. Ah, uh, just a, a side thing. I, I I was playing where escapes and. The, yeah, new month, and yeah, I was first in my state, in Virginia, in the, in the first couple of days, and I was like number 
six in the world, and then I switch devices. And it seems that if I switch a device, it now has a bug to wear it. It doesn't kill my brilliance score for regular things, but it does for the, the actual uh, competition, so to speak. So, with, like, your state and, and the world, yeah, it killed it, so I went back to, like, number 161,000 place but now back to any progress on the number two in the world Scalpel. it's pretty clear they're integral to how all of this and functions. i will never be able to gathered a lot of data get to number one this time lot. because somebody is doing something that's impossible okay. they, f five days in and they got uh let's see five or six day in whatever that they, they, they're almost at three million brilliance and right. litter okay so tell me how you could possibly get three million brilliance in, le in less than a week i've no idea unless you're running a bot uh no not even a bot uh i think they are numbers to crunch going to app data offline and and just changing the numbers and then going back online and then it updates and then you know because there's there's no way possible even as fast as i play when i'm concentrating if which i can't do more than a few hours at a time if I could do that for 24 hours a day, and I've watched videos on YouTube of people playing that are faster than me, and they blow me away, even them, they would not be able to get that kind of score. And it's right. like, okay, maybe the, maybe they're paying their way. Maybe they're buying. But no, I mean, I've got literally half a million coins, hundreds and hundreds of each of the stuff and all that kind of thing and it, it, yeah it, there's just no way i could get a half million in a day and that's what they're keeping pace with and it's like how other than it's yeah they gotta be doing something but hey right. is there's is, some it, got some dialogue i want to listen to <laughs> I think you're gonna have to sort of like you're gonna have to kind of like just keep the the chatter to a minimum because there's like a ridiculous amount of dialogue going on at the minute. So, ah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, my bad. Sorry, yeah, I'll so I'll mute myself. An and I can't guarantee that my answer won't be another question. I'm glad we don't get headaches. All right, so we have a switch. What does the switch do? Uh, I haven't really I just had a quick look at the trailer I didn't really look at it too much to be honest Doctress so I can't really pass comment on it at the minute if I'm honest uh, okay number four Alright, placements. Placement, placement, placements. Interesting. Where is. Sorry, it's got a fan. You need the hexahedron out first, I think. Okay. 
I'm not sure this will work. I'm pretty sure you need to put a hexahedron on that to be able to connect, right? But unless I'm missing something. Effectively, I'm thinking we need to elevate that. That you can put it on there, can you? No, it just completely flies off. Yep, and as I thought, I was missing something. So, let me I can't remember if I worked that out before, but you can't drill through them. So, we need to put the connector on that button. We can take the cube out by going around this way. Then done with this. We can connect those like so. The hex on there. Activate the switch. Use the tunneling device to open up that there. And boom. There we go. Alright, six of eight. I keep thinking, why puzzles? Is it just their symbolic value because of our history? Because the thing about puzzles is they can be solved. But if this is about testing us, what are we being tested for? It can't just be about spatial reasoning. Our curiosity? Our persistence? You're assuming that this place follows a coherent logic. My impression is that it's full of contradictions. Okay. Well, we had the whole puzzle discussion in the last episode in the first area, but um, I guess they're still... Also, okay. We have switches. I've got to go back to see the other ones. Go on, Apaz. Good to see you, buddy. Our principles are. Yeah. Alright, so. I'm going to head back to number two here. Remember, I don't need to hold shift because I turned on the key to toggle it. Okay, where is... Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I think I turned three off. Ha! Clever. I just realised. I just realized. Where was number three? Yes. Pretty interesting to see boxes levitating with the fans. The wind that comes from the fans was pretty powerful and exactly aimed on the bottom surface of the box. wonder if it could be a thing in real life. I'm sure, I mean, I'm no scientific expert. Maybe Deathwish can uh, tell us, but I'm, I'm sure there's probably some material out there that's strong enough but light enough. Deathwish, you're a science buff. Uh, yeah, that would be in, in my limited experience with aerodynamics and things like that would be virtually impossible with the shape of those. 
uh, unless you, uh, yeah, things would have to be absolutely perfect because there's too many variables for a box to be pushed up and stay steady. Especially if you stood something on top of it, like one of, one of the other items. But ju even just by itself, and somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, that would be uh, virtually impossible as a square, as a circle, no problem. That would work due to the, uh, I forget what you call it, but when you, uh, like when you, when you put an airflow around a circular item, it spins it and, and keeps it, uh, floating above the ground, even when it's, there's nothing below it. So. But yeah, uh, uh, lifting a square box with air, sure, but it's just going to fly off to one side. I, and I challenge anybody to show me any different. You got to believe. Ah, Rafa the Rafa. There's a game. All right, so. Never heard that. Never had a power up of the rapper. Although you're not really a console guy, so I'll let you off. It was a yeah. <laughs> it it's was like good. a, and I guess you'd kind of call it like a bit of an early, like Guitar Hero kind of game where it was like button inputs and you had to like time it to kind of like the guy rapping and stuff. You had to time your inputs to that. Um. That was a very poor uh, descriptive way of putting that, I know, so I apologize. Okay. Jammer. We're gonna climb our way out of here. Uh. Oh, you don't. That's actually press on the ladder. You have to do that in the first one? I can't remember. Oh. So. I have to say, I never thought about using a ladder and and coming to shut the hell up and saying too much, but I never thought of using the ladder as a form of a solution. I thought it as uh, the ladders as a way of uh, not getting stuck. Yeah, kind of like a portal thing. Like, you know, you gotta yeah. lay out. Yeah, you know, that's... So I actually never thought about them as a useful item. Okay, so... But yeah, I just figured they were... To, yeah, I mean, to, I, the, gen to, to genuinely, I don't think they are for um, puzzle solving. They are pretty much anti-trap. Anti yeah. But having said that, I mean, there is, I, the, the, assuming that I'm going about this the right way, there is no other way to kind of do this, so. Well, I can tell you that, I mean, and obviously there's no spoilers with this. I mean, I did every puzzle without using the ladder for the solution. Okay. Uh, that that's just me. See, so, I mean that that's not a spoiler thing. So if you can do it using the ladder, then I say it's legit. So. All right. So we got both of those out of there. Um, we just need to jam it now, don't we? So head on back over here. suppose the way I... No, I don't think I would, I would do it like that. Hmm. 
Left me with questions. Um, that's not right, because I can't take the jammer through there. through there. Do I? I have no idea. Sure you do. If you're asking the wrong person. I can't help you. Right. You need to ask LB. Trying to think of how you would do this out using. See, I'm. Yeah, I still not got it right. Cause I'm. Uh, actually, no, you can see that from here. Yeah, maybe the idea isn't to take the jammer out then. It's just that the jammer is isolated on this side the whole time. But anyway, yeah, I could. C to get it out, which I don't think would be particularly a um, nice way of doing it would be to try and, I don't think you can, it's like to grab it through here while it's activating this field. But I don't think you can grab through barriers like that, so. Alright, progress wheel. Seven out of eight. With three more to you go. You know something that's weird about these puzzles? They're not replicas of the simulation puzzles, like the ones in the museum. Wasn't there an artist who did an exhibition a few years ago that involved new puzzles of some kind? That was Barzai. It was called Trials of an Imagined Past. I tried to get you to come along. You thought it would be boring. Were they similar? No, not at all. Was it boring? I thought it was interesting. <laughs> Doesn't answer the question though, does it? Uh, Alright, let's head over to six. I think it's seven and eight, isn't it? Yeah. I'll do seven and eight. So, number six Passage. that don't need to use just at the minute ladder here I believe we'll have to climb all right yeah this one had a I don't know if you'll feel the same or anybody else does, but it kind of had a pearlesque feeling to me. As far as, I mean, you know, just in the, how it, uh, how it went through the steps. Okay. I mean, yeah. I'm, And I'm okay. sure it could be taken differently no matter what, but yeah, that's just kind of, it, it made me think back to that, like certain, certain original maps and other, others. Anyway. Right, let's take the fan, put it on here, and then we should be able to break this one out by dropping it through the hole. And then we can open the paw, the, the paw. We can open the do free what see thing as you there. And now we can bust the other one out. Now we have one of these out here. Do we need to 
I don't think we need the driller anymore, though. So I believe what we could do is one on there. And then we'll take the other one back with us to here. We're going to need the fan, because all of the other fan pieces are... on the pants and we can't detach them. Okay, I've realised I do need to point this though at the area there. So we can drop the fan out. There's something on there. Ah. It's interesting. I've missed something. I don't know what I've missed. Pretty sure we need that jammer from over there, don't we? Okay. So how do we access the jammer? Ladders are just stairway to it's stairway to heaven that require more effort. I always forget that you can't um you're not meant to stand in places on this game, it slides you off. Which is a good way to try and force Oh. I don't believe I have explored enough. That's pretty cool. Oh, I need them both. Ah. Okay. Tracking here, so I apologize for the back and forwards. That was quite a little sneaky um, place there where it's. I need to articulate. That's quite sneaky. I happened just to see the color of the floor from above the. Uh, the where the other fan location is. And there is our jammer. Then finally, we will do that. I think I did that slightly differently. Is this the is this that puzzle you were saying you broke? Or? No. No, I actually didn't think I broke it, but uh definitely didn't do it exactly the way you did it. So I don't know. Yeah, I mean Unless you manage to air strafe in some way, shape, or form, you know, what intended to do, or... Um, I mean, that's the only way I can see you get the jammer down, and I'm not sure, as LB said, so I'm not really sure what else you would have done. Which is interesting. Alright, well, we've unlocked the tower. We have new interface content available. Progenator Portal se uh, Portrait Series. 
Hi everyone, this is the latest in my portrait series. I've always I've always had a deep respect for the progenate the genitor, sorry. Alexandra Drennan. She didn't just create the founder and save humanity, she also tried to instill us with a sense of beauty and wonder. It was good to be human, Alexandra Drennan. As usual, please keep in mind that we should focus on engage on engagement with the work. Don't ask yourself whether it's good or bad, but how it makes you feel. Beautiful work, Radam. Gives me a bittersweet, wistful feeling. She must have been a great person. To me, it really captures her bravery in the face of what the cosmos had thrown at her. It's well done, but I'm sure it's appropriate for us. Not sure it's appropriate for us. Deficit the progenitor in this way. Progenitor in this way. Sorry. Okay, it's. I would remember she's a real person. I agree, there's real hearts bravery in the face of death. It make me sad. Belief in a bright future. Thank you, okay. She really did believe we would build a better world, didn't she? Her words always inspire me. They do? You should try to listen more carefully. She wanted us to reach for the stars, not mope around worrying about our sins of the ancestors. Regenitor spoke in metaphors. The stars are within us. Give us a break. Let's not derail this thread, okay? I mean, it is. Post. Okay. <clears throat> now that I've thought about it, I think I did a similar thing just in a different way i'll say that well let's uh, let's put it let's let's put it this way if you solve the puzzle then I, i'm guessing you did it in a similar way yeah uh <laughs> that that's what i'm I, I didn't have both of the the items together below i, okay. I had a, i had them in two different locations wow you were going through that and i was thinking about what i did i had them in two different locations but essentially it's the same thing so yeah so i didn't i didn't break it or do anything abnormal but i can deathwish got fed up of breaking audio things and he decided to break the game instead <laughs> I've never broken a map or a game or anything. Shut up. Yeah, that's interesting. Do that. And then we have this. On how we can get in there. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually waiting for you to get to the, which I don't remember how far it was, but I'm waiting for you to get to the one that I, I'm, I'm pretty certain I broke. I mean, it doesn't make any sense if I did. So I, I know what the what I think is the intended solution, but I just said, well, I already did that, so, but I can't remember what puzzle it is. It's on until I see it, so. Okay. And my falling, tumbling device is blocking, so let's. Oh, there's a fence there. Okay. That's the problem when you're running lower graphic settings. Have we got anything else even here? Yeah, nope. We have not. Okay, so in this area. Okay. So, we need to... Uh, 
I'm in initially thinking we're probably going to want to put them on the other side of here. Oh yes, I see what we need. Well, I see what we need to do. However, because what I can do is this: I can put this through to like that side, and then I could move it through there. But what I need to be able to do is I still need to be able to get through there myself. But this this middle thing's bothering me here as well. Oh, hold on. Maybe not. All right, let's just experiment a little bit. Okay, so the jammer doesn't really offer us a lot, other than, oh it does, we can jam that, there we go. Okay, so with that jammed, we can take the box back, remove the connector. We'll take that. Hopefully we can see it through there. Just find the right angle, like so. And there we go. Congratulations, 1K. That was a hard one. That was a hard one. So he said. Okay, so we now need to go and have a little mosey on over to number eight. Interesting. You said there was some um, voice lines last time as well. That'll be that you haven't heard as well. Miss this? You miss this? New Theology 1. From the New Theology, George Bernard Shaw, the object of the whole evolutionary process to realize, realize God. That is to say, instead of the old notion that creation began with a God, a personal being who, being perfect, created something lower than himself, the aim of the New Theology is to turn that process the other way around, to conceive of the force behind the universe as working up through the imperfection and mistake to, and mistake to a perfect, organized being, having the power of fulfilling its highest purpose. I just like reading that paragraph back because that kind of like makes me think about like the, the original game almost. Like starting off with something that's imperfect and then through the, the puzzles and everything that we solved in the original game, we kind of like created this perfect being, i.e. the founder. Um, anyway. In a sense, there is no God as yet achieved, but there is that force at work making God struggling through us to become an actual organized existence, enjoying what to, to many of us, what to many of us is the greatest conceivable ecstasy, the ecstasy of a brain, an intelligence actually conscious of the whole 
and with the executive force capable of guiding it to perfectly benevolent and harmonious end. That is where we are working to. Yeah, that's um, interesting. Definitely. Uh, Nima, from the lives of the first companions by Randolph. After these events, Nima decided to consult the writings of the ancients, but while philosophy and religion interested her, it was art in all its forms that can be can, that came as revelation. To her delight, she discovered that, me, that meaning was not something constructed purely out of logic or will, but that it could be also found in stories, that even when a, the, the character and events of a story were factual, they had a v validity and weight as if they somehow were real after all. She was astonished that such a profound experience was freely available to all humans, but concerned that too few took advantage of it, she set out to enrich the inner lives of her fellow citizens by promoting the art, starting with the legacy of Gehenna. Nima sounds nice. I would love to meet her one day. She must know more about the new Jeruz Jerusalem art history than anyone. When we do, remind me to explain how the, to pronounce her name. The def default setting in the language libraries are wrong. Okay. Interesting. Hey, Crazy, what's going on? I think you saw one of your friend's vintage plays recently. Totally didn't expect to see that. I haven't seen vintage around for ages, to be fair. So, uh, interesting. Uh, Leviathan. The introduction to Leviathan by Thomas Hob Hobbes. Hobbes. Nature, the art whereby God has made and governs the world, is, by the art of man, as in many other things, so in this also imitated, so in this also imitated, that it can make an artificial animal. Seeing life is but a motion of the limbs, the beginning whereof is in some principle part within. Why may we not say that all autonoma engines that move by themselves by springs and wheels as does a watch have an artificial life but what is the heart but a spring and the nerves but so many strings and the joints but so many wheels giving motion to the whole body such as was intended by the artificer art goes yet further imitating that rash rationale and most excellent work of man the most excellent work of nature, man. For by art is created the, that great leviathan called a commonwealth, or state in Latin, civitas, civitas, which is but an artificial man, though of greater stature and strength than the natural for those for whose protection and defense it was intended, and in which the sovereign, which the sovereignty is the artificial soul, as giving life and motion to the whole 5358. Who is user 5358, I wonder? Lastly, the pacts and covenants by which the parts of the body body, polit body politic were at first made, set together and united, resemble that fiat or the letters make man pronounced by God in the creation. Once that Hobbes had read Stratton is extrapolating the Talos principle to the level of the state. Well, like Stratton, he wishes for at the end of the day, what he wishes for at the end all he wishes for at the end of the day is a powerful ruler to control this machine to tell him what to do. And I really struggle with like the these like a lot of philosophical philosophical um, text segments. I find them really hard to read, so I do apologise. Uh, I have heard about it. Um, I haven't uh, looked into it too much though at the minute. Crazy, if I'm honest. Um, I had a quick glance at the trailer, but that was about it. All right, let's talk to Yakut. I can't stop thinking about Miranda, a new person not born in New Jerusalem. Can you imagine that? I wonder what it's like to be her. Hmm. We don't know what she is though, do we? I mean, you would expect that she's probably not that different from us. We don't know enough about her to say, like, whether or not she's got anybody who, like, in her... If she is part of some other city or civilization somewhere, we it's hard to say whether or not she's on her own or not, so we can't really say lonely. Um, it's good maybe she's more free than we are. We don't really know a lot about her, but 
And maybe she has a, a bit more freedom than we do. Free? In, in what way? Um... Is that how you feel about New Jerusalem? Like you've been forced into a role you didn't want? You turn me into fulfillment of the goal or robs me of my chance to be me. Yeah, I mean, that's a... It's either like that or the Miranda thing. I know what oh. you mean, but look at it this way. What you do with it is still up to you. Everyone has some problem to deal with. I wanted to ask you about something else. What do you make of these labs? They're very different from the rest of these structures in that they serve a clear purpose. Everything else is kind of surreal, but the labs are places where people lived and worked. I don't know what that means, but I think it means something. Well, I'm sure it means something. Uh... Yeah, we can all agree that. 